بسم الله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين Dear brothers and sisters, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. I would like to talk about the evil eye who hates the children. Subhanallah, so many people, they hate others with their evil eyes, with their bad eyes. So the Prophet Sallallahu the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing upon him, recommended us to say, when we see something we like, when we see someone we like to say, Allahumma barik. Tabarakallah. Some other Persians they say, Masha Allah. So the Sunnah is to say, Allahumma barik, Tabarakallah. So no one can harm other Muslims by their evil eyes. So if you see a child you like, a child that he is looking good, he's pretty, he's cute, or a girl, a small girl, say Allahumma barik so at least you don't hit her or you don't hit him with your evil eye so there are some symptoms you may realize that if you see them on your child you should know that he has evil eye or she has evil eye so when you see your child does not sleep easily means he he, he suffers from <coughs> from insomnia means at night in the bedtime, he starts turning right and left looking for sleep. He does not sleep right away. This is one. Second, when you see his face became pale, not normal. For those children that they are suffering from, uh, from blood problem, like poverty, or they say like, I don't know how to say as as English, but it says like, they have some issues in the blood. They have less blood. When you see your child going on from time to time frequently to the bathroom to urinate, you should know that he has evil eye. When you see your child that he gets scared at night, he cannot sleep himself alone, or for little thing, if you slam the door, he gets scared, you should know that he has evil eye. When you see your child that he starts forgetting and his appetite is not there anymore and he cannot, he does not want to go to school, he does not want to study because of evil eye. So, and when you see your child became weak, no more energy, he cannot even lift his hand, that's because of evil eye. So, Asma bin Tumais the wife of Jafar ibn Abi Talib used to ask Prophet ﷺ that the children of Jafar radiallahu anhum he like the, their children are suffering from evil eye should I do ruqya for them? Prophet ﷺ replied yes do ruqya for them so and most of the time when you see the children crying you should make sure that they may, they, I'm saying, they may get evil eye. Prophet Sallam, as we know, that he used to do ruqya for Al-Hasan or Al-Hussein, radiallahu anhuma, by collecting his hand, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and blowing, and, and reading, or reciting, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدَ اللَّهُ الصَّمَدَ لَمْ يَلِدْ وَلَمْ يُولَدْ وَلَمْ يَكُنْ لَهُ كُفُونَ أَحَدَ قل أعوذ برب الفلق من شر ما خلق ومن شر غاسق إذا وقب ومن شر نفاثات في العقد ومن شر حاسد إذا حسد قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس and he used to wipe from the neck from the back of the head or from the neck passing by the upper side face chest, legs, and arms. This is Ruqya. We recommend this Ruqya on the time of sleep, on the time before we go or before you send your child to the streets, to the children, or if you know that's one of the neighbors or one of the relatives hitting your child with their evil eyes. So this is what you should do to protect your children 
from the evil eye. Because the problem is, some symptoms may show on the body of your children. You take him to the hospital, and they will tell you that there is nothing wrong with your children. Make sure that if you don't treat the evil eye early, so it becomes later on, or it on, transfers to, to the body, to the physical body, and you'll see so many problems on his body. So we, we suggest to come back to the sunnah. So is the person that he is hitting with, with his evil eye, is he against any sin? Yes. Prophet says, Al-Muslim, Al-Muslim, the Muslim is the one that the Muslims are safe from his hand and his tongue. So this man, this woman, who hits the Muslims with their evil eyes, yes, they are sinful and they should repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they should say tabarakallah when they see some person or they see something belongs to the Muslims or belongs to anyone, they should say Allahumma barik, tabarakallah. So, and they should not be with other Muslims till they know what to say till they stop hitting others with their evil eyes. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us and protect all the children, all the Muslims from the evil eye.